Damn, I'm sure you've heard this a ton, but I'm sure lose control is like a lot of people's go to. Like, let me cry, let me yeah, cry I about this. Don't you know? I lose control when you're not next to me. I think that's what's so beautiful about that song, too, is that like it's been such a like when we every time we play it and people sing along, it's it's such a good thing because it's such an emotional song and it comes from such a toxic and scared place, but it's also such a song that we can party and celebrate to and and to be able to turn that pain into like celebration and like kind of reclaim that pain that somebody gave to you yeah. and just like reclaim it as like success and like happiness and, yeah. and, and, and a party is like it's it's great to celebrate that do, do you feel that evolution as you oh hell yeah this yeah song? and i mean there's like again there's like with that song in particular there's no better revenge than success you know what I mean? <laughs> but you're still you're still you guys are still cool or no yeah yeah, yeah we're cool we're cool yeah <laughs> and i know you've done a multitude of things so you've done musical theater i know you yeah. did rent and um you've done you were in a rock band you know for a bear and all that so like how did you come to a place where you know you felt like everything had to be perfect you know because i saw that interview as well where you were saying like because everything you put out is amazing thank you and um, is is there like a filtering process or yeah i mean we we just write and write and write and write you know i, I like I'd probably been in the, every time that like before we put out the first album, I think we we've, we've been writing for like four years and probably over five hundred songs have been, and so I just <laughs> I just write and write and write and write and hone the craft. And the further you go, the better you get at it, and the more specific you can make it to yourself, and the more you learn yourself and your thought process. And um, of course, it helps to have like the best guys in the world that help me write songs and help me put my feelings into words and you know I just I couldn't I couldn't do a thing without without that and I, I think this collaborative process in general has just gotten so much stronger and better for me in navigating the like the whatever the little muse the little fairy that's floating around the room that's waiting to fall in you know? and as soon as you don't try to kind of can't really kind of guide the creative act itself. It's got to just, you got to just get out of the way. And I think I've just gotten better and better about getting out of the way and letting the the, the feeling kind of take over. And I don't think it's ever meant to be perfect, you know, because if, you can't write always the good one. You know, I was talking to my aunt one time and uh, she had asked me this question. She had, so it was actually really cute because it was a, it was a, it's kind of like a re revelation for me because she said, um, um, she was like, well, you say you're always going to like Nashville or LA for like months at a time, and you know, but when when I see you, you only put out like five songs. Like, why? If what are you, what are you doing with all that time? You know? And I was like, well, I'm trying to write the good ones. And she's like, why don't you only write the good ones? And I was like, well, shit, I guess I can't. You know, I can't. And and I, I found out the only time in my life where I was going through like a a mental block or like a writer's block is when I was worried so hard about this being good or whether this was going the right direction or, or I was trying to shape something into something big and in reality you just see it through and if it's bad then you're never going to hear it you know <laughs> well they can be selfish songs right like yeah. songs for you to get out of the way they have to be yeah because you kind of have to write those to get the good ones I agree to get the I think, and I think I think the I think the most selfless thing you could do is be honest you know about yourself like specifically in a specific way and it's only really to you because I think everybody could also understand where you're coming from better but even if you like write the word like the song and in the phrase like Jackson Lake in it which is like so specific to me and my home and town and upbringing if I talk about that it's like maybe you don't know exactly what that is but you have a place like that you you know what place is your place or what or what Bell Road house I was living on when I was growing up and you had that same house you grew up in yeah. you know and we we all can attach our own thing to and we all do our own memories and our own relationships to songs that other people do anyway so it's i think it's better to be specific about yourself and more selfish if that makes sense 100 percent. and i think you being vulnerable has given people the ability to like sink into their feelings you know i hope so and i've also heard that you've been looking for a therapist have you managed to find one yet? well I, I've, been, I've been found like a i just talked to actually i did a i did a podcast not too long ago with dak shepherd and he 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 just sent me a number of his therapists and i'm gonna start trying to do that with him but as far as like it's not a traditional therapist that i i talk to but my guy at Diamond Dallas Page, uh, he's a WCW wrestler, and he's uh, wow. just my hero, my second dad, my, my mentor, my everything. And um, it's ever, not since we've been out here, it's been tough because we're on the other side of the world. But I try to talk to him week, uh, once a week, and you know he's really done very well about helping me navigate this kind of rocket ship that is... Because I found with a first couple of therapists I tried to talk to, it's, it's, it's kind of more difficult because I think some of the things I was 
struggling with were things that I, I can't quite use like a standard person with. A lot of the things I'm going through are, are with this particular life or this particular rocket ship I'm on and this this kind of, I guess, transition into stardom or whatever you want to call it. It's um, stardom. You can claim it. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been it's been tough and it's getting tougher, you know, and so it's it's great to have somebody you could talk to that kind of gone through that and knows how to tell you like to stay grounded and stay, you know, keep your foundation strong and, and don't let the the life the, the party, it. the whirlwind of it, yeah, yeah, get in your head and take you over, you know. But hopefully you know you have the magic beans. Yeah, you know, I hope so, thing. man. If I may ask, what is a moment that's inspired you, be it, you know, with with the stardom that's come or could it it could have been something that, you know, was like a microphone growing up or what was the what was a in, a moment of inspiration? Um, I, so I recently uh, this this was actually on a on a flight from we were we were leaving uh, I think it was Brisbane and headed to Jakarta uh, just a couple nights ago and I, I, I cried like a baby so I my, one of my biggest heroes of all time is Stevie Wonder and um, um, so my manager was like look he, he really does who you are he wants to he wants to work with you you know and so he had sent me this voice message. And I just, I just on the plane just cried, listening to this voice message, and he was like, he was like, oh yeah, by the way, Teddy, I, I do have a song. I'd really like to work with you on it. I was like, you know, I mean, I'm getting emotional now talking yeah. about it because he's my absolute hero. You, you talk about like, him in all your interviews yeah, too. He's yeah, he's my absolute. So that that right there is lately the thing that's got me just fired up. But yeah. I'm just waiting to get back home so I can be like, hey man, I'm, I'm getting emotional yeah, for you. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Right? So I'm hoping, yeah, I'm really hoping to get to, to work with him and and I don't just ask him so many questions just ask him interview the hell out of him you know what yeah. I, mean? I have the heart to heart <laughs> which is going to my next question which is what are you manifesting at the moment but i guess hell yeah, you already did dude, is, is there anything else that you're because you mean i think when you have the beans you got to use them right? yeah so yeah what I, else is on the I'm, agenda? I, I, I really would i really would die to work with adele i would think she's like so incredible and i think one of the best singers in the world and so i'm trying to and that um, and, and and another of course would be like paul mccartney is like really huge to me i'm just a oh huge beatles gosh. fan and i would just love to another one you just want i just want to like ask so yeah. many questions and, sounds like you got to go to great britain yeah <laughs> absolutely i sure would too i'd go anywhere you told me to go that's right i mean you never know like they might see this and be like yeah i hope so let's yeah. see call okay. me dog <laughs> I love it. Um, I love your energy, by the way. And again, Thanks. it's such a such an Me honor too. as well. Now we've got. I've tried everything but therapy, part one, one point five. Are we gonna get a two? Yeah. So the plan is currently. I think we have it done. I think it's like kind of in the in the bag. We we gotta just kind of pick the songs. But um, like we out of the five hundred that you yeah, but we, we have we have a lot of good ones. I've been doing camps and writing a lot, and and so I, I think we have it. It's just about kind of putting it together and getting all the ducks in a row and um, but I'm planning on releasing it in, in the fall I mean we're looking September October maybe but I, I don't want to tell you I don't know okay. I don't know quite date yet right. so but is this the exclusive that we're yeah, getting yeah. right now yeah <laughs> it's, it's gonna be in the fall as the plan though okay. so that's that's what we're shooting for but I mean again you know if 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 lose control and, and door and everything's just still growing and growing and I'm not gonna like shoot myself in the foot neither I mean I'm just like you should keep playing them songs, man. Oh, like, we just uh, added funeral okay. this yeah. week. Yeah, oh, no to way. The station, Thank you so, so yeah. much. No, of course we that. absolutely love it. Yeah, yeah. so we, if those keep kicking ass, and I mean, I, I, I can. I could push my album back a little. I don't want to, but I could push it back a little bit. If it was up to me, I'd put out, I put out my whole damn hard drive, you know. But I mean, there has to be a. You know, people would time. listen to it. Yeah, yes. but you know, there's got to be a plan or whatever. So. All right. Amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. It's such an honor. My Have pleasure. It's yeah, fine. I'm sure you're going to be firing up that stage, but again, it's a pleasure. Kiss 92, all the great songs in one place.